Okay, so this is the initial tuning setup. And um, just before I do that, I'm going to save my current configuration, all that hard one configuration, to a file. Oops, saved file. Let's call it Chimera Pre Filter. Yeah. And uh, I've done that so I can do a before and after comparison. Because um, what I'm going to use is the Mission Planner Wizard here. So you hit Meta A in the or Alt A, and uh, it tells you to make sure the battery is configured correctly and all the initial setups, which I've done. And uh, I'm going to click OK. So the first thing it asks for is the prop size. So it's seven inch props, these are. And then the next thing is the cell count. So this is a 6S battery. And uh, I can leave that at the default. Fully charged is definitely 4.2. Fully discharged, 3.3. Yep, fair enough. Um, and uh, what it's given me is a little parameter comparison um, for uh, various of the... Um, uh, factors that are affected by um, the uh, prop size and the, the uh, setup. So uh, the most important one of these is the gyro filter. So we want a higher value for the gyro filter. Uh, and um, the others are related to sort of thrust scaling. Uh, and I'm going, I'll probably just, so I'll probably go with a higher gyro filter than that eventually. Uh, I think I might just set this to 60. Oops. Oh, I can't do it that way. Okay, fine. So that's fine. I, I will, um, uh, I'm going to write those out. There we go. Yeah. And I, let me go back to here, to the gyro filter. And you can see it's set to 57. I'm going to raise that to a value that hopefully Leonard won't kill me for. Uh, I think 70 is pretty safe here, so I'm going to go for 70. Uh, and then I'm also going to look at, so we should have fast sampling on. And uh, we do. Uh, but actually, this is a mask, this is a bit mask, so I'm going to set this on both IMUs. So I want fast sampling on both IMUs. So you can see that's set to 3 now, which means IMU 1 and IMU 2. Uh, and then I'm also going to look at gyro rate. So this is the back end gyro rate, and this is running at 2 kilohertz, which is the default for. H7, and I think that's good. Um, that's a reasonable value. Uh, and then I'm going to look at the extended tuning page. And you can see these are the default PIDs. Um, and uh, the, uh, the only thing I would comment on is that uh, Phil D. So this has been, fill D has been set to half of the gyro rate. And I think that's a bit low. So I'm going to set it to two thirds of the gyro rate. It's a smaller copter. It might work for a, a larger copter, but I think that's um, reasonable. Fill T we can leave alone. Okay, and then um, 
we're going to enable the harmonic notch filter. Uh, I had not seen this harmonic notch filter configuration before. Isn't that pretty? So we are going to enable the harmonic notch filter. There's really no point in doing any kind of tuning without enabling the harmonic notch filter. Just, uh, okay, so I'm going to write the parameters. Yep. Let's refresh the screen. Might need to connect and reconnect. There we go. Okay, refre refreshed. So uh, by default, this is set to mode one, which is throttle. And we actually want this set to mode three, which is ESC telemetry. Um, and with the ESC telemetry, we need the reference value set to one. And then um, the other important c consideration is the uh, ratio between the frequency and the bandwidth. So it's the ratio that's important here, except that the frequency also represents the lowest frequency that this will go to. Um, and 80 for this size of copter is probably okay no, probably not probably a bit too bit too high i would think so i'm just going to go to 50 there and i'm going to set the bandwidth to 25 to get the same ratio one to two which i think is is reasonable um no, we're going to do 60 just to be safe. If you get, go too low on this frequency, then you end up in the sort of control bandwidth for the, the copter, which is not great. Okay, so mode three, it sees reference value, frequency, bandwidth. Okay, and then the final thing I'm going to do is set the options here. And I'm going to set this to, so we're on an H7. So I'm going to set this to... Um, bit uh, I'm going to set bit one and bit two which so bit zero is double notch um, actually I can't remember I'm gonna to have to go to the full full parameters so let's write those out yeah yeah we'll go to the full parameter list and find INS H notch whoops H notch. Okay, so we've got bandwidth 30, frequency 60, enabled, harmonics we don't actually need to worry about. Mode is three, which is ESC telemetry. And then options, I get a nice little pop-up, which you can see here. And I'm gonna go for dynamic harmonic, which means a separate notch filter per motor, which gives nice control. And I'm also gonna update at the loop rate. So this gives a much faster notch updating. It consumes CPU we're on an H7, so that's perfectly fine. Double notch is not usually that useful on a, um, a copter this small. So I'm going to write that out. And then the final thing I'm going to do is again this is not a massive copter and we've got loads of cpu so i'm going to increase the scheduled loop rate to 800 i run all my copters at 800 um, uh, especially if they've got more cpu it just it just gives a bit finer control uh, okay so um, how much difference this makes on a bigger copter like this, difficult to know, but I just, I, I prefer it like that. And then the final thing I'm going to do is set D-shot rate. And D-shot rate by default gives a, um, a fixed one kilohertz output that's not synchronized with anything. Uh, but by you can set this to multiples of the scheduled loop rate. So we've got scheduled loop rate of 800. So I'm going to set this to 2, which gives us an output rate of 1600 
hertz synchronized to the loop rate. So you basically get two D shot pulses for every uh, cycle of the main main loop. Okay. And what I'm then going to do is just uh, power up and make sure that nothing has, make sure everything initializes uh, okay. So we just connect the battery here. <coughs> I'm going to reboot. Turn on the transmitter. Okay, switch to stabilize. Looks like we are good. Um, and the mates look good still. So that is the initial setup, and uh, it's going to be difficult to do much more without putting props on. So I think the next step is to do put props on and uh, do an initial assessment of how it looks.